Good morning, Jim Hodges here, Bailey here. Bailey is a six month old Great Pyrenees that came in for our residency training program. Wow, uh, Great Pyrenees are a livestock guardian. They're fiercely loyal and they're so independent. You can go online and read all about uh, the breed specifics and she is truly a Great Pyrenees. You're constantly gonna need to be trying to motivate her. When she's having fun, she's having fun. She loves to play, she loves to play with other dogs, which is very good for socialization right now. Uh, she loves to love you when you're sitting in watching television and things like, like that. She likes to bite on you as well. And we've been working with our owners on the, the biting and the nipping and the counter surfing and things along those lines. Those are behavioral things that just take consequence, okay? You can't let a dog that, this, that, that is this strong and independent get you down. You can't allow your emotions to get the best of you, okay? You just go through the process, you be... Uh, emotionally balanced try to use a lot of praise but if you get to a situation you have to consequence just just do it and move on and go from there you're going to see me try to motivate we were sort of out of a, a crazy situation she was real crazy with the owners pulling the leash like i'll get out and and doing some things like that we've sort of tempered that down but we want to find that balance of trying to excite her she loves treats but she doesn't love treats necessarily to work, even with a special treat. I've got like chicken right here. Chicken seems to be her most favorite. Uh, we use it, but it may motivate her at times, may not the other. We ask our dog to do something, she needs to do it, okay? So on leash, we're ready to reciprocate with a tap of the leash. Off leash, we're not gonna give a command unless we know she's gonna do it or we can make her do it. So I'm gonna go through the obedience right now, watch her, listen and see what I can do to try to motivate her. But at the end of the day, she's gonna do good. She's been very obedient as far as the things that we've asked her to do. It's just finding that balance. Hopefully as she goes home and gets in the routine of doing obedience every day, uh, she's gonna find that happy place with mom and dad and she's gonna do the things that they want excitedly and happily, okay? I can tell you right now, good girl. She's very loving, okay? I love that. I want her to love and we want to praise her when she's looking at us. We reward her with our words and touch. Remember words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. I could even give her a treat too from time to time. There's nothing wrong with that when she's looking at us. Our focus has gotten pretty good with her, okay? Good girl. So let's go. Here we go. You heard my tone. Come on, baby. Get up and move. Good. All right, let's go as she walks with us, okay? If she lags behind, we try to motivate her up. I don't want to bite her up. I want to motivate her up. Let's go, baby. Good girl. Now, if she gets in front of us, she was really a puller, we're going to tap that leash back right to our side. If she tries to go over here, we're going to tap the leash right here. One of the things I'll do is I'll turn a lot to begin with to get her where she has to pay attention. Sit. Good girl. I asked her to sit, she needed to sit. If she didn't sit then, I'd have gone, no, sit. Really about that level, maybe just a, a tad bit more. Maybe I dropped a treat. If she tries to pick up this treat, while I talk about treats real quick, if I drop a treat on the ground, I am not gonna let her pick it up, okay? She likes to smell the ground. And the owner wants her to smell the ground at certain times. We wanna make sure that in the let's go, she doesn't smell the ground, but when uh, she's walking around, checking out her property, he gives a command to smell the ground. Then she can walk nicely with, but check to see who's been and who hasn't been. That is a separate command. And the way to do that is, is where let's go, then we break her. And we break her. And just say uh, we were in a strange place or walking around in the yard to see what animals might have come up in the night. As soon as she started to smell the ground, we would tell her good girl and associate a command with that, okay? Let's go. Come on, right back to let's go. So the tap, say she did pull again, is a tap right here. It would be no let's go. We have a kitty cat right over here. We'll see how she responds. We work real hard to try to in introduce her to cats and other dogs so that she can handle them. And she's done pretty good. That is a continuous uh, work in progress, okay? So, let's go. Hand signal, sit. Good girl. I praised her, still hadn't given her a treat. 
I'm trying not to motivate her for the treat or give her a treat every time she does something. I want to save it for a biggie. What? Break. Right here. Good girl. When I broke her, break, that's the hand signal, that means she doesn't have to work. She's released from her command, but she can't pull on me ever again or pull on you ever again. I did the step back. When I did the step back and told her to break, good girl. I am teaching her also uh, the prerequisites for the come command later. Okay, come on leash and off leash. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Sit, good girl. So she sits, she holds it, and I'm not gonna tell her to stay. She holds that sit until I release her. And I'm not gonna keep her in a sit for a long time because I don't like to put that pressure on their hips. Okay? Let's go, down. Hand signal from the side for the down command. I asked her to down. There's some chicken right there. I'm anxious to see if she tries to pick it up. She hadn't. That is really a good girl. So when you give a command and your dog obeys, if you want to give a treat in that moment, you're rewarding her doing that command in the moment. Now, because she's not smelling the ground and she's waiting, I'm giving her a treat for laying down being a good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Okay, sit. Let's go. So our hand signals are here from the side, down, and now that's from the front. Say, for example, she did not down for me. This is her head, here's the leash, I would tap towards the ground. No, down. Every time I provide a consequence, when she does it correctly, I'm gonna come back and provide a mild praise, if you will, to let her know she's done the things that we want. But it's no, down, just like that, and then we move on. We're not gonna hold it against her. Very good, now watch the B-R-E-A-K again. Break, good girl. No treat, but love, let her know we're happy with her. Okay, good girl, let's go. So I'm motivating the entire time, trying to get her to keep coming with me, okay? This is a real hard command for most dogs here. If you watch my last couple of months videos, I really need to get some place to load a little bit better. But here we go, okay, load up. Come on, you can do it. Good girl. Now I am gonna give a reward for that. Right. If you could see that stump, there's a hole in the middle. It looks like a volcano, and it's real hard for bigger dogs no, to get on it. So why did I tap there? She might have dropped a piece of chicken. She was reaching down. No, just like I said before. She's only going to smell the ground when she's free, when she's a dog running around, or if I give her the command to check things out. If I drop a tree, she's not going to pick it up off the ground. Why do I do that? I don't want her picking things off the ground when we're out in public or something. You never know what there is and how dangerous it could be. Okay, sweetheart, let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. Okay, play. Good girl. So you notice the place command uh, pointed to the, to the bed. This is something that our owners truly want, but it's play, she gets on her bed, she can lay down, sit down, stand up. I don't care what she does as long as she stays on the bed. I also use that same point for the load up or the hub command. Same difference, okay? Now, when she's on the bed like this, I totally don't care if she chews on a toy, smells the bed, smells their ground, but what I don't want her to do is get up, okay? She can do this easily for an hour or two at a time right now, okay? In the beginning, when you're teaching your dog to place, you would have used a tree, you would have guided her straight back onto the bed, told her place, and as soon as the fourth foot hits the bed, good girl, give her the treat, pet her. Some dogs in the beginning are gonna be unsure they're gonna stand up, that's okay. Remember, they can stand up, sit down, lay down, I don't care as long as they stay there. But in the beginning, when that happens, I'm gonna sit and wait a little bit. If she lays down, I'm gonna tell her good girl. If she sits, I'm gonna tell her good girl. I'm trying to communicate to her that that is something that we like, and, and it's okay to do it, okay? Very, very important. Now, when we come in the beginning, it's a loose leash, and then gradually you're gonna drop the leash and go further and further. You never go to 10 feet immediately. You always start close and work your way out on a loose leash, then a tab, and then no leash. You build it from the, from the ground up, you're gonna have a great situation. 
You never ask a dog, especially a dog that's fiercely independent, but any dog you're working with, you never give them a command unless you know they're going to do it or you can make them do it. Okay, sweetheart, let's go. Come on. Good girl. So the next command is the C-O-M-E command, okay? Uh, she's watching me. Why? Because I turned around. She wants to make sure where I'm at. She can be in any command. She doesn't have to be in a command. I have loaded up a treat in my hand. And you remember in the break, I, I did the break and had my hand here. That's the same with the come command as well. And when she comes to me, I want her to sit on leash. Okay, baby, come. She comes. She sits. at a girl. I'm going to reward her for that. Ah, good job. Break. Now, when I had her come to me and sit just then, and I rewarded her, she's still in the sit until I release her. Quite honestly, I don't care if she sits or not. If you don't care if your dog sits when it comes, I don't have a problem with that. The big thing is to come. The second big thing is to make sure your hands are here. We're trying to get her to focus on us. Not here, here, where there are other distractions she may see and lose her focus. All right, so, so important. Also, when our dog comes to us, especially off leash, we never do anything that may seem like a negative. We don't put her up, we don't correct her, we don't do anything on that come command. Break. So say, for example, she's running around in the yard, okay, she happens to be off leash and she's watching me right now. Uh, here's how we would do off leash. We would have a toy, we would come out, and just say she decided to run up to us for no reason. And we see she's running up to us to get some pet and love, we would tell her as she's committed to coming to us to come, we pet her and love her. If she's off leash, smelling the ground or something, we would go, hey, baby, look what I got. Come. Notice when I told her to come, a girl, good girl, break. That's a good girl. Notice I did not tell her to come until she had committed to come, okay? So, so important. One thing about Bailey, she is really treat motivated and it's important not to use treats every time. Have them in your pocket, tucked away, she doesn't see them. Use little small pieces of, of her favorite treat, not just some crazy old treat because it may not motivate her. It needs to be something that really excites her, like chicken in this case. It's better than the other treats I've used and, and she gets more excited with it. But it's so important that you don't do it every time. You always make sure you pet her and love her when you do it. The last command is the heel command. Uh, the heel command is when we have a dog in our box beside us, okay? Her job is to stay in the box. My job is to keep her in the box. When we start walking, she has to read what we do as humans. And we allow her to read, but we always straighten up our walk so she can get back in the box because we want her to be successful as well. My hand signal is right here. For you people that are learning to train out there, sometimes I'll put the treat right here to start the heel. Okay, watch. Heel. See how she's checking it out? Good girl. We stop, she sits, I can step off, and she holds it. So now, I did not give her a treat when we stopped. If I gave her a treat now, it's because she held the command. There's a difference, okay? If I gave her the treat when we stopped, I rewarded her for doing the heel and, and stopping and sitting, just like we asked. I'm gonna move the treat back over here again. Heel. So watch when I step off. I step off, she's trying to get right back in the box, but I'm not gonna stop until she gets back in the box. Good girl, okay? She lags behind, I'm gonna try to motivate her up a little bit. Huh? No, don't want you smelling my pockets. Thank you, good girl. So why did I go act no and bite that? If you don't want your dog smelling on you and things along those lines, you have to show her what you like and what you don't. That came off the cuff and you notice my consequence. Again, we're not here to intimidate or dominate. We're here to react in the moment and share with her what we like and what we don't like. Our job is to praise her at least 20 times, at least 20 times more during the day than we bite. Okay, break. Atta girl. Good girl. The only other thing that I didn't really mention here was the stay command. Uh, stay is something as simple as down, stay, hand signal for stay, okay? Her job now is to stay there. Now with the stay, that means pack your bags, gonna be there a while, 
I don't mind if she smells the ground. I don't mind if she has a chew toy. Her job is to lay in that down and hold it. I recommend all of my owners to try to do that two or three times a week in the beginning so you can establish that you're in control. Once you've got her down staying, and we've got a cat moving right here, we'll see how she likes it. She's really gotten to the point that she cares about the cats, which is good. Uh, we want everything to be happy in those situations. But we have that stay, she can hold it. I don't mind that. Now, if she went to pick up a rock, I would bite her. It would be no down stay. She doesn't even see the kitty cat coming up and around. Okay, that stay has another purpose in life. When we're in the house, we're using the open palm to stay. We could be in a room, okay, break. And this is gonna be hard, but we're gonna show, stay. So I walk through the door, she's staying in that room. Good girl. In the beginning, I would have a tab or a leash on. If she came through the door, I'd just get the leash. No, 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 stay, good girl. Not a down, she can do anything in the room she wants to do, she just cannot break where you're asking her to go away from. So if you want her to stay in that room when you go to another, it's a stay, reward it. In the beginning, do not be bashful to reward, especially a dog like this. We've got to find every edge, edge we can to get her excited. The big thing are the behaviors. You know, for example, when I'm sitting around uh, reading or not, she wants to be right here in my face, which is good. I want to love her as long as she's not being intrusive, but she also likes to nibble. And I just sit there and tell her no. I'll bite her with the tab or the collar, or maybe even put my thumb in her mouth and hold it or something along those lines. But again, it's not designed to hurt her. It's just to let her know we're in control and we don't like that. No, just like that on the smelling. Again, I have chicken in my pockets and she's trying to smell. This has not been something, good girl. Why did I praise that? Because she sat down and she's watching me right now. She's not looking at my pocket, she's watching me and we want to reward that as often as we can. And we always use praise words, touch as many times as we can and then we'll throw in a bonus like a toy and a treat from time to time with the others at the same time. I think that pretty much is it. Break, good girl. You know if you need me, my phone number is 336-945-3232. I'm here for you as long as God will have me on this earth, okay? Uh, and then I have someone to back me up if that happens. Uh, feel free, there's never a charge for you to come back and work with me. I want to know how you're doing. I want you to be successful. I want you guys to be partners for life. You can find me on Facebook, Jim Hodges Dog Training, on my website, Jim Hodges Dog Training. Even on Amazon with these leashes and some of my other products, Go to Amazon and type in Jim Hodges Dog Training and you'll see things uh, that I offer that I truly believe in. I appreciate you. Keep me posted and God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's go.